everyone what is up welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new my name is Kat today I'm going to be doing a review and a time lapse of the 750 piece dog days buffalo games fun at the amusement bark puzzle this one is absolutely adorable I love going to the theme park and the amusement park so when I saw this puzzle I had to grab it so without further ado let's get on with the time lapse <music> So what did we think about this puzzle? It was actually quite a bit harder than we were expecting it to be. The dog's furs were extremely hard to sort and they all are just about the same color. You have three blonde and then two kind of brown black mixed dog and then they also have one on them and then you have the gray dog the gray dog wasn't that hard to do but the other three blonde ones and then the two black dogs with the gold on them were pretty hard to sort and figure out which dog went to what piece it was pretty challenging this guy also was kind of challenging and just trying to figure out what piece went where it's pretty much a solid image on the same side it is basically the same thing so we just kind of had to put pieces in and figure out what went where so it definitely was quite challenging to do the image is extremely adorable though as you can see there's a doggy here that's scared to death he's having the time of his life and then he's like uh who talked me into going on this ride as you can see the pieces do stick together pretty nicely and even these two as since they are that z type shape 
they do still stick together and you're able to pick up big chunks of the puzzle and move them around, which is extremely helpful for when you're doing this puzzle with somebody else. The pieces are the normal Buffalo cardboard. And I know I've said this in previous videos, but Buffalo is honestly one of my favorite brands because the price is affordable and you get a pretty nice quality puzzle for the price. Here's a better look at how thick the pieces are. As for Puzzle Dust, I do think that there is a decent amount of it and they definitely could improve on having less Puzzle Dust, but I definitely think we have had more Puzzle Dust with other puzzles. On my hardness scale, I would give this a 6 out of 10. I definitely think it could have been a lot easier, but it's also not the hardest puzzle that we have ever done. So I would say definitely still pick this one up if you want a little bit of a challenge. And honestly, it probably was a good thing because 750s usually don't take us that long. But this one actually took us quite a few nights to finish because of the non-variety of colors. This puzzle is definitely not a quick two hour in and out quite done puzzle. So you definitely get the bang for your buck with this puzzle. So the big question, will we be keeping this puzzle? The answer is no, we are not going to. It's absolutely adorable. And I honestly thought that I would enjoy it a lot more than I actually did. I love dogs. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I love amusement parks. I'm a roller coaster person. That's where you will find me in the summer is at an amusement park on a roller coaster if I'm not at the beach or playing tennis or something else. Um, so this one definitely was a selling point for me since it was an amusement park bark but i just don't think that we will ever do this one again it didn't really catch our eye enough while we were doing it it was really repetitive and just not enough going on to keep it and do it again so this one will be posted on our mercari i will leave it linked down below we also have a bunch of other puzzles over there feel free to message us and we will definitely bundle ship these puzzles for you Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure that you go head over to our Instagram, which is Puzzling Through Life, because I do post updates up there sometimes if I get the chance on what's going on and stuff. So you guys can also see what puzzle we are usually working on. I try to post it on our Instagram story. And also make sure that you hit that like button and the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our future puzzle content. I will see you guys in my next week video. Bye.